and welcome to this special episode of GM Spring Hill Quality Starts Here. I'm Kate Neary. October 3rd was a very important day to the Spring Hill team in that it marked the official launch and celebration of the Chevrolet Traverse. Local dignitaries, General Motors executives and government officials, including the governor of the state, descended upon the plant to join in on the festivities. Also in the mix, 100 Chevrolet dealers from the southeast region were primed and ready to drive their very first Chevrolet Traverse orders home to waiting customers. Before the start of the formal event, a small group of visitors took a tour of the facility. Let's take a look. It's so exciting to walk through the plant and see the product going down the assembly line and see people working, and they're excited about working and building the new car. So um, it tells a lot about General Motors and the confidence they have in the people that work here at the plant and Murray County, and I'm so excited to see that product come out and the Traverse, and it's a great day in Murray County. Well, when you got 4,000 people working in this complex here, it means a lot. It's an economic engine right here as far as our county goes. We've got a lot of good industry here in the county, but thank goodness, 1985, uh, I know I worked with uh, the, your team, the General Motors team that came down. They looked at 40 states before they decided this was the best place to lo locate this facility. Thank goodness they did because it's been a great thing for our county and for the state of Tennessee. Okay, you know, they do a great, make a great product here, but they're involved in so many good things in this community. But it's the Scouts, the United Way, you name it, and you see in individuals, part of this team, they're doing their part. I'm extremely excited not only for the employees, uh, for General Motors, I'm excited for the people of Murray County and the state of Tennessee. I, you know, a year and a half ago we were all concerned about, you know, the future of this plant and uh, thank goodness that General Motors chose this plant to retool and make this vehicle we're seeing being launched today. You know, but that, that really reveals the quality of workmanship, the quality of the workers here. It's so important. You know, it's the main structure of our economy here in Murray County and uh, provides good paying jobs and good benefits, and that's what it's all about. You want to make sure uh, companies like General Motors have what they need to get the job done and to make sure that our families have good paying jobs and give good benefits. After the tour, the group headed down to the Boroff Center for the formal event and to hear comments from GM North America President Troy Clark, Governor Bredesen, and others. And the home of the brave. It's fun to go through, you know, the waiting room for uh, children and grandchildren, but uh, this product. Look how many people are in the waiting room, huh? This is fantastic. So we're really, really pleased to have you here. We're really grateful for the uh, support from the community, the GM headquarters, and the UAW. As we all work diligently to launch the Chevrolet Traverse faster than any other product in the history of GM. So again, you take a look at our 100 years of history of making vehicles, and you see what's been accomplished on this program, this product, it really is a statement about the dedicated workforce that we have here. So if you would, let's give a hand to the dedicated workforce that we have here at Spring Hill. Okay. I'm proud of the organization, really, and the performance in building this great new product. We really are focused on one mission, and that's delivering the highest quality vehicle possible to our customers. And every one of our quality metrics says we're not only meeting the expectations, but we're beating every one of those. So the quality expectations, we've absolutely blown the targets away and uh, really setting new standards inside GM. We have the pleasure of hosting several distinguished guests today and we're honored to have with us our keynote speakers and friends, the president of GM North America, Troy Clark, and the governor of the great state of Tennessee, the Honorable Phil Bredesen. Gentlemen. All right, welcome Troy and Governor Bredesen. 
some of you might recall that the last time I was here was actually March 2007. And at that time, I announced to the Spring Hill team in a large forum, much like this one, that we had chosen a very special plant to build the newest in our line of crossover vehicles. I mentioned how important we believe this product would be. I talked about how the crossover segment was helping General Motors to pick up incremental sales, was actually helping us to grow. So wouldn't it be nice to add another such vehicle to our lineup and to our volume brand of Chevrolet? And as you well know, that's exactly what we did. And I believe the Chevrolet Traverse turned out to be the right product at the right time, and I believe very strongly built by the right team. One reason for my confidence is this team. The commitment that you've made to General Motors in terms of quality, safety, productivity, among other measures. It's not been lost on me or the other leaders in General Motors. And I want to thank personally Mike and his team, the UAW National Leadership, UAW Region 8 and Gary Castile, Local 1853's Michael Rourke, Mike Heron, the entire shop committee, and most importantly, all of you for all the hard work that's been put into making Spring Hill a great place to build vehicles. Um, I've been impressed with the way in which GM has its eyes on the future too, uh, with crossover vehicles like the Traverse here to meet drivers' changing needs, by developing cars with greater fuel efficiency, by producing cars that run on alternative fuels like the 4 million GM vehicles on the road today that use E85, use ethanol E85 of fuel. Uh, GM has seen the challenge of a changing industry and has stepped up to meet those challenges with a willingness to try new things, a willingness to try new approaches. Tennessee has got its eyes on the future. GM has got its eye on the future as well. And if you ask me, that is a great partnership. I want to thank General Motors as I close for their commitment to Tennessee. Choosing to reinvest in this plant, choosing to reinvest in these employees was a huge vote of confidence in this workforce and the best indication that GM's investment in Tennessee has been a sound one. Last but not least, really first, uh, to the employees here at Spring Hill, I know you have waited patiently for over a year now while this plant was retooled. Today you've got your eyes on the future too, and you're ready for it with renewed energy. In fact, I understand that the team here at Spring Hill executed this launch in record time, four and a half months faster than any other GM launch. To all of you especially, I'd like to say congratulations on a job well done. It is a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you all very, very much. I want to make this statement that was just made. I think this is out of many of the great things I've heard today, this one probably hit me more than any of them. And it because it not only resonates from this facility, but it resonates from what we're trying to accomplish here in the great city of Spring Hill. And that statement was, the Spring Hill workforce sets the benchmark for GM. That is a profound statement when you look at the size of this company, the amount of employees that they have, and to focus and make that statement truly is an honor to the employees that work at this facility. If you would, please give them a round of applause. Again. Thanks uh, to all of our honored guests for coming today and participating. Uh, we appreciate the, uh, the speakers. Have, uh, everybody's busy schedule to come and uh, participate really in this uh, huge event for us. The Chevy dealers in attendance were excited and anxious to get behind the wheel of their brand new Chevrolet Traverses and to get home to the local showrooms to share it with new customers. Uh, our dealers are here uh, to uh, drive out 
their first traverse orders. Uh, we're going to send them off a little bit of a flare. We got the uh, talented members of the Spring Hill High School pep band out there. Please uh, join our dealers in the uh, very happy send off of traverses out to the dealers and the customers. Well, today we've got uh, about 150 of our dealer partners who are going to drive away in 88 uh, Chevrolet traverses. Uh, we're doing a dealer drive away. So what better than to bring them to the place where they're all built so that they can pick up their car and, and drive it back to their dealership. It gives them an opportunity to spend some time in their traverse as they drive back to their dealership so they become more knowledgeable on it. And overall, they just become extremely excited about, about the product. Uh, our dealers have been waiting for this product. They've been waiting for the launch of it. Uh, some of them have other GM franchises, GMC. Uh, Buick, and they've seen uh, this crossover vehicle in those lines. They've been waiting for the volume vehicle, and that's the Chevrolet Traverse. So their their uh, their anticipation is uh, almost uh, be completed, and and they're going to have these vehicles to sell. Uh, we're we're pumped up. Uh, this is going to be the launch of the Traverse, and we're going to have them in our stores. And uh, the dealers are here, being able to take them back to their stores today, so we can start selling them. It's gorgeous. It's everything. They, they thought of everything in this vehicle. Everything from the rear console to the Bluetooth technology, it's got it all. Uh, this vehicle, I'm so excited I can't stand it. I mean, everybody in our uh, Hope dealership is excited. Can't wait to get it back. It's a good vehicle. Nice vehicle. It's going to sell real well. This is exciting. Very exciting for GM, for the dealers. Our customers are going to love this. This is an exciting vehicle for us. It's wonderful. What do you want team members here to know about what your what your plans are with this vehicle? Well, I want them to know I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell a bunch of them. And we appreciate them building them, and we know the quality is going to be great coming out of this plant. We're actually lucky we've got some of the UAW members that have been bringing cars down to us and letting us show them over the weekend, letting our people look at them. So we, we've got to go a little jump start on some other people, I believe. And, uh, it's going to be a big winner, and uh, we're excited about it. I love it. It's awesome. It's great. I think it's going to be good for customers. Absolutely. This one's so. It's fantastic. I can't wait to get it back to the dealership and let the rest of the guys take a look. The quality is phenomenal. Uh, it, it's amazing. This is an amazing plan, amazing people down here working, and uh, we're just glad to have it here in Spring Hill. Honored at the event when Spring Hill Mayor Danny Leverett read a proclamation declaring October 3rd, 2008 as GM Day in the city of Spring Hill. Thanks to the mayor and the citizens of Spring Hill, we are very grateful and humbled by the honor. That's it for this episode. Join us again next time when we talk more about our plant, our product, the Chevrolet Traverse, and of course, our people. On Quality Starts Here.